Every single one of us has a voice, even if it's in print, sign language, or through art. Just use it, please. Think really hard about your surroundings, realize that you've been lied to, and so has everyone else around you. Remember that everyone, man or woman, adult or child, black, white, and everything in between, is an individual. And they have the power within themselves to love, be loved, free, and be freed. People who are mentally insane or violent criminals need to be shut away from society, but they also shouldn't be treated as animals. They should be treated, but in a humane way. Who knows, it might actually reform them better <clears throat> if their issues are met with compassion and healing as opposed to more abuse. No matter what the offense, each person is an individual and the determination of what makes someone a criminal is wide and varied in our current society. Guess who owns the jails? You guessed it, the corporations. 60 million laws, in effect. You probably break quite a few of them every day and don't even know it or you just don't get caught. Remember, they want you to hate, they want you to be afraid, they want you to think little of yourself and others so you can work your ass off for them while they make you think you're doing it for yourself and your family and your loved ones. They want you to desire all the things that they tell you are illegal and immoral so that they can put you in their jails and cause turmoil to your families and you. I'm not kidding about these things. And I might be a little crazy, but I prefer to call it enlightened. I have researched countless hours of video, audio, and articles after many years of just having my eyes open and taking a look around. Educating myself on these topics only proved all the things I thought were wrong since my early childhood and made the picture much, much bigger. It all sounds so scary, and it is, but we don't have to allow it to happen. Being scared of it all isn't going to get anything done. It's a matter of just saying no and acting beyond that. It's about taking it all back. You raise your own food, encourage others to do so, and share your abundance and skills with others. Growing your own food is a lot cheaper than grocery shopping. It doesn't have chemicals in it, and it's not genetically modified. And it's low cost for you, so of course it makes more sense than paying $5 plus who knows how much money for gas to get to and from the grocery store for, say, a box of sugary cereal that's loaded with crap like high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup being one of the leading causes of obesity in America, and it's in damn near everything at the grocery store. Food for thought. Uh, another thing. Start losing that superficial attitude, people. You can certainly have your tastes when it comes to how others should look and what music you like, etc., and on and on. But share it with people without putting them down for who they are and what their tastes are. It's not hard. And besides, does it really make you feel better when you mess with someone's psyche like that? No, I didn't think so. Just be open. Understand that everyone is an individual, and if they're a sheep, they can become an individual if they wake up and all this bullshit comes to an end. Just think about it. Human beings are designed to be productive, and there's nothing wrong with that. But we've been exploited for too long. We've exploited each other. We're a nation of angry, scared, and brainwashed people dependent on the system instead of on ourselves and each other. Be self-sufficient. Help others however you can. Educate with truth and show compassion. If you can't find a way to get along with somebody, get away from them and suggest that they do the same. It's not hard. It doesn't have to be anyway, but we make it that way sometimes. These are the seeds to take it all back. They want their money? Well, they can keep all their money while we fend for ourselves and each other instead of for them. When the shit hits the fan, their money isn't going to help them, but food and supplies sure would. If only they had been nicer to us, huh? I don't know if we can live in a totally cashless society, but a society without immense greed would be nice. You know, where people are rewarded for their abilities and contributions, but everyone can live comfortably and without hate towards their fellow human beings. Peace, evolution and the return of all our souls before it's too damn late. 
I hope to see it happen in my lifetime. I hope that my ideas and my actions help people to wake up and gain some understanding. There's so much more to this, but for now, I'm done ranting at ya. Keep your mean-spirited commentary to yourself. I'm not interested. I'm just trying to have my voice heard because it kills me that everyone is so needlessly messed up right now and it's obvious what and who is to blame. We all need to take responsibility for ourselves and our actions and we can start by making the elites realize that we're not their slaves anymore. Peace.